Queen DJ and in today's video I will be reacting bring to episodes 11 and 12 of Squid Girls. Let's go ahead and get started with episode 11 in 3, 2, 1. Hold on. In 3, 2, 1, go. This is supposed to be the episode where they're going hiking, right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> We all know how I feel about that, right? Well, see, I don't have a problem with hiking. I have an issue with camping. That's all. <laughs> that and, okay. So you will never see me camp. And you will never see me um, go on a cruise ship. We all know the reason of camping for me. If, you have, if you've never seen my laid back camp reaction series or really more of the classroom camp and then going on to season two because, of course, my season one reaction is not up on YouTube anymore. So maybe go try Nico Nico. But for cruise, going on a cruise ship, that is number one, Titanic. Number two, um, so when COVID was hella bad and all those people were stuck on that boat, Nope. No. Nope. And they, and they, like, I think there was a boat, there was a couple of boats told them that they could not, you know, dock and come to sail and stuff because they didn't want other people getting sick. And I'm like, <laughs> what? Mm -mm. Nico, what are you looking for? Oh, this is the dome! <laughs> Johnny Depp? <laughs> what? What? So the man, the male was named Johnny and the female was named Depp. Bruh. <laughs> Bruh, I could not sleep in that room. Yeah, just turn it around. There you go. Now, if that thing turns its head around, we got a problem. Echo, did you move the doll? All right, we got a problem. We have a problem. Get the doll out of the house. Call the priest. Bless the house. Bless it all up in the house. Jesus. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh. 
Oh. Okay. Shit, I don't want to get used to it. Get up. So the girl's name was Johnny, and the boy's name was Depp. Yeah. So that's the reason why it does that in the morning. <laughs> Bruh. In a weird, creepy way that kind of gave me, like, Annabelle vibes. If any of you have seen that movie series. Ah, yes. The best girl.
Oh oh. So then where's she do? Oh, there she is. How are you going to get the blood sample without her noticing that, you know, if you prick her and she bleeds? Sir. She going to kill that bug. It's not going to work. That's not cheesy though. Yeah, that's a little weird though, Jesus. Say you say no to drugs and you say no to stalkers. You're telling me it was that easy? <laughs> sure, cheese it is an alien, all right. <laughs>
Is it really just y'all two hiking? Uh, hold up. Time out. I have a problem. Why are the kids by themselves out here hiking? Okay, never mind. We got adult supervision. Thank God. Yo, what? Well, yeah. Because you're not supposed to run, you're supposed to walk. And besides, the biggest thing is the number one that you bleh, the number one thing that you don't always you should always do. Never wear pants. Always wear shorts. Make sure you got bug repellent spray on you so you don't get bit. Don't cheat. Exactly. That's the reason why I don't go hiking, camping, whatever in the wilderness. Me, I wouldn't survive in the wilderness. <laughs> oh God, a snake. Nope. Pretty, ain't it? Mm hmm. Oh, come on. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha
Did you really walk out here in heels? Sonic, you are crazy. In heels. There's a cable car? For exercise. Inca, don't be fist. <laughs> right? I mean... <laughs> But you know what? Hey, the good thing about it is she got exercise. And that's the biggest thing at the end of the day. You always want to go out somewhere and take a walk. Like, I, the last couple of days, I have been wanting to finally take out my bike and take it out, you know, on a bike ride. Maybe around my neighborhood or just around the apartment complex because we do have, like, a sidewalk that normally people do walk their dogs or just walk themselves. And especially because it's getting hot outside and sometimes you don't always want to stay inside. And plus, you know, on the days I am not at work, I would like to get that done. But then also at the same time, I also have to work on this stuff. So sometimes I never really have the time to do that. Plus, the biggest thing is it's raining here. We Our hurricane season is starting very early this year. Um than it normally does. And so now it's kind of a, lo a little harder to like try to plan um <laughs> Johnny and Deb <laughs> uh to go outside and to either go take a walk or you know um go for a bike ride or something because of the fact is you get screwed over and sometimes it rains and then you're like damn my plans are fucked up because I can't do x y and z <laughs> But, I, I mean, it was good. I really liked the doll episode. That, that that was just the best. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So, so sorry. Because, come on now. We, you know, your girl loves horror. So, the best freaking moment of this episode. Are we playing volleyball? Well, of course, because, you know, Inka's going to cheat. Cause she's got tentacles. Everybody else only has arms. Girl got tentacles. So, of course, she's going to use everything to her advantage no matter what. She's like, oh, we're going to play a sport? Well, I'm going to kick some ass in it. Like, always. <laughs> but, yes, like, literally. I would like to see in the second half of this show, when we do start that next week, um, another horror episode. I think that was the greatest thing about this week's episode. That, the hiking and such. Even the Cindy and her three goons trying to get blood <laughs> samples and hair samples from Chizuru. Even though they're like, yeah, we think Chizuru's kind of an alien, but no, Chizuru is just Chizuru. That's all. Nothing else. She's just a regular old girl who likes to kick some ass occasionally. But go ahead and pause the video and I will see you guys in one second for episode 12. Alrighty, episode 12 and 3, 2, one, go.
<laughs> for the television, of course. <laughs> of course. watching against two unfair. <laughs> Poor baby. Damn, they is trying for this TV. I just want to know, hold up, because of course it's Chizuru. How in the world was Chizuru able to change so quickly? <laughs> but, but the wig. 
bag on and a mask without no one noticing. <laughs> but damn. No, she lost grip in her tentacles. Probably. Yeah. Meaning? Ah, that's true because she's been living on land for such a long time. Of course, her body and everything. Mm hmm. Basically, <laughs> that's a little mean though, but yeah, I get you. <laughs> Barely. Look how light that is, baby. Mm-mm. I mean, she's been on land for 12 episodes, so, I mean, we all kind of knew this was going to happen. She'll be back, though. Guys. <laughs> She's 
is right. No, baby. She's really gone. So you telling me it's been probably almost a whole year? No, I wonder too. But they should grow back, though.
Well, she seems important. You know, yeah, that's a good question. It makes you wonder, is she just the only one? Or are there several other squid girls just like her? Hmm? Uh, um... The one time you wish she had her tentacles. Well, that's so messed up, though. No, <laughs> oh, baby. No. <laughs> oh damn. Poor baby's got the shit beat out of her. Okay, this, even though we are technically done with season one, I really still like to call when we get into the next part of the series. All really season one, but really the first half of this show was hella good. I loved everything about this. I, I didn't like the fact that, you know, it was weird to just have Inka with short hair. Like, yeah, it was cute, but it it wasn't her. It was still her, but it wasn't the one that we all have known and love for 11 episodes. And so I'm, I'm really glad that she got her tentacles black. Like, oh my god, baby. Like, because there is no squid girl without Inca and her tentacles at the end of the day. I mean, this show is freaking hilarious, straight up. I mean, it made me laugh. It made me cry. It, it made me laugh even harder than after I was done recording it. And I was just like, okay, let me think about something real quick. And then I would think about, like, a moment in this show, and I just bust out laughing while I was editing and such. The characters are very interesting, and I will, like, miss them for a semi-little week, even though I'm, I'm continuing the show officially next week with my new Patreon show starting next week as well. But yes, this was good. I'm happy that this show started out on a good foot and ended its first half on a good foot as well. But I am very excited to see... Oh, it's so cute. But I am excited to see what in the world could be in store for the second half of the show, plus the OVAs and such. Because anything will really happen in the second half of it. Of course, we're going to get a lot of more Inca, <laughs> Inca moments, Echo moments, Chizuru moments. <laughs> Fucking Chizuru. Uh, Takeru, Cindy, and her three lackeys. 
Sane, everyone else is going to have really good moments in it. And I literally cannot wait to see what, um, what else is in store for them and for them as characters, how they're going to grow from the beginning of this season to the end of this and then also to the end of the rest of the show when we eventually finish this. But yes, this was really good. Very, very good. I loved it so damn much. But other than that, guys, that was my reaction view towards episodes 11 and 12 of Squid Girl. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Magic Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially on next Saturday for Patreons and next Wednesday for everybody else for episodes 13 and 14 or what you probably like to call season 2, episodes 1 and 2. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.